Hi and hello guys. Today in this video I'll show you as to how you can fix the KMEM subbelloc error. So this image what I have here has been given to me by one of my subscribers. Uh, this particular error is very common in Hackintosh computers. So this prevails uh, because of the uh, RAM configuration or I should say lack of RAM configuration uh, in the config.plist files. So this error can occur in two different uh, stages. See the first stage uh, is when you try to boot using a bootable USB and the second chance of this error occurrence is when you try to boot into the installed Mac. Okay, So these are the only two stages or two chances for this error occurrence. Uh, I shall show you as to how you can uh, deal with this uh, at each and every stage. So in the first stage when you try to boot from a bootable USB if you come across this error you can get rid of it by modifying your config.plist file. So as I said uh, this error is due to a improper or lack of uh, memory configuration on your plist file. All the computers that you have now uh, come with at least uh, two memory slots and if you have just one memory in either of the slots that is when this error occurs. So sometimes you will have a memory in the second slot instead of the first slot. So when the Hackintosh uh, doesn't find any memory in the first slot, it will pop up this error. So to fix this, you need to add a bit of uh, coding lines in the config.plist file to get rid of that error. So if you see on my left, I have the modded config.plist file and on the right, I have the unmodified config.plist file. Open the config.plist file and scroll down to a section, co uh, section called the version. So just after the version you will have a version number or a string and you need to paste the text that I have highlighted after the version number. So in this you need to pay attention to the uh, memory size and frequency. So in digital electronics everything comes in powers of 2. So even if you have say 2 GB of RAM, it is not exactly 2000, it is 2048. If you have a 1 GB of RAM, it is 1024. If you have 4, uh, 4 GB of RAM, it is 4096. And uh, it doubles and so on and so forth. You should also change the frequency of your RAM according to the RAM that you have. You can get these details uh, from using several softwares like Specky or uh, even say CPU-Z or similar other softwares. So I will share the links. Download a copy of the modified plist file and an unmodified plist file for a better understanding. So by modifying the plist file with the memory details you can get rid of this error when you are booting from a bootable USB. So now let me switch over to the Mac and show you as to what you need to do to get rid of the error when you try to boot from the installed Mac OS. If you get an error while directly booting from the installed Mac OS, first boot into the Mac using the bootable USB. Then open Clover Configurator, mount the EFI partition and open the config.plist file. In the config.plist file, scroll over to the section that is called the SMBIOS. In the SMBIOS you will see a section called memory. So over here select channels to single and slot count to 1 and then click on the plus button over here. Over here set the slot to 0 and size to the size of your memory. Say as in like if you have 4 GB it is 4096 if it is 2 GB it is 2048 or if it is 8 GB it is 8192 and then you have uh, varied frequencies so choose according to the RAM frequency that you have so vendor can be anything uh, but uh, more close to the original will be much better and from the type choose whether it is DDR3 or DDR4 and now close to save and then if you try to boot from your uh, Mac, installed Mac, you should be able to boot without the KMEM subbelloc error. So that is pretty much it guys. 
So I hope that uh, you find this video useful and informative. Thank you.